Hello guys, and welcome to episode 23 of my Orsha campaign in Stow Division 2, playing on the Axe's side. Today, we are defending against the 5th Guards Rifle Division. Uh, the HQ section has attacked us, but they don't have any reinforcements until phase C, which is good. So we can probably counter-attack from our defenses and hopefully destroy them by phase C. I can bring in the 215th Assault Regiment to help us out in phase A. And I'm also uh, tempted to bring in my aircraft. That will make things 100 times easier. So let's go ahead and bring the... I'm thinking the first close support wing. But we could probably get away with using the first close support or the third close support wing or the third battalion of the first close support wing. Sorry. Yeah, we'll we'll bring in the Fogger Wolves and, and use those. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the tactical battle. Set it to player. Uh, they are not actually calling in any reinforcements. This is good. It means we're not really on the time limit, which uh, makes things a lot nicer for me. All right, so I'm still going to put down the defenses just in case. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. So that didn't take as long as usual. I have all of my defenses set up. It's just the same AT guns firing at the roads as I normally do. And I've also got the MG bunkers all on the high ground. I do have some trenches with troops in, but for the most part, I've just got groups of Schutzen and Sturmschutzen. Uh, pushing forwards with attack move orders from the start just to see how much ground we can make and if we can get to these land spawns ASAP. Got a few focal walls just in case I need to bomb anything that's in our way. Off we go. So there's probably going to be quite a bit of infantry that we've got to deal with but for the most part shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to have these flying around for the time being. Until we actually spot the targets. I do have a few of these recon cars around because with these focke wolves I don't actually have like recon focke wolves anymore so it makes it a lot more difficult to spot targets but that's a an F22 we can kill sure I can bomb those on the run that would be good as well although I'm Maybe they're going to hit on the mark. I don't know. They turned. Oh, no. They turned. All right. That should stop that firing. And our unit's there. Because F-22s can be pretty good at that. Since we probably want to do as much damage as we can before winning. I'm probably just going to camp near their spawn, I think. Oh, a bunch of Strafniki. Interesting. Uh, let's bring these guys up like so. With the Sturmschützen. And then if they push on us, we're all good. I'm going to have to fill that gap, I think. Don't think I have many Sturm shoots in left. No, not at all. Oh, that's the one I want to bomb there. One good thing would probably be to bring up some recon there. I may try and actually cut off this spawn on the left hand side. Just so that I can focus where they're coming in elsewhere. 
I'd also like to get rid of this spawn point because this one's kind of annoying. It's in the open, hard to cover. Maybe I can get up onto the ridge here. I'm going to use the Sturmschützen to go around the edge of the, the bottom of the, uh, the cliff here. Or the hill, I guess. Because these guys, they have the MP44s. So they'll be able to just uh, cover that for us at closer ranges whilst my other units get up on top. Alright, that's that dealt with. Yeah, maybe I can afford to push up a little bit more here. Don't know what happened to those Strafniki. Them Schutzen should absolutely rip to shreds the NKVD. I'm going to have these other units move up. If I can get my Sturmschützen into range, that would be ideal. Alright, let's just bomb those. And what I'm going to do on this left hand side is we're going to leave from Schutzen and then I'm going to grab those two and we'll move them over to the right. And damn, this stuff think got pinned instantly. <laughs> Let's try and shift over to the left. Now we should have that one under control more or less. I'm just going to leave that shoots and on the point itself. This one can unload. We'll bomb that. Good. Alright, shoot him for later here. Okay, good. Whereas so the pioneers will clean that out. Uh, I might leave those stem shoots and just there. We'll move the shoots and over to the left with the rest of these. Idea being, we'll cut off this spawn. Maybe this one as well. Actually, is not a bad idea. The one in the middle, and just focus on this one. Because that one has the trees closest to it. We don't want to get close enough that we stop it spawning. No, maybe the middle one's going to have to be the, the, the chosen one. The chosen reinforcement point. Or we could just keep all three open and just kill stuff still as it comes in. Because it's not like we're struggling to at the moment. As long as we have eyes on the F-22s, we can just bomb them. Alright, let's uh, put some pressure on in the middle a bit more. Well, that's going to force that to unload, whatever that is. Uh, I guess it's probably just some recon, some Kanaya. Alright, let's just speed things up. Oops, changed the order there, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well, we still killed that, killed that. Good. Just gonna bomb that Stidbecker. Alright, good. I think I'm nearly blocking that spawn. Wait, there's something that's actually shooting at me. <laughs> I 
and crawl them out of line of sight. Yeah, we're just going to want to be in a position either side of the spawn. Uh, not too close. We need to actually let them spawn. <laughs> now we got rid of the one in the middle, which is actually a good thing. Um, so I'll shift these to the left and, uh, and to the right there as well. Yeah, so we'll keep this right one covered with machine guns. Move this one over as well. All the kills coming in. dead. Good. Take out that one. Hmm. Maybe I want like a recon here. Or two. I think I could do with another shoots in there actually. Maybe sh move this one over. Give that a good strafe. Go pin those down. Poor AI. It's not even fair. Oh. Poor motorcycle. two there as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is this dude sniping my recon motorcycles? <laughs> Alright, not too long left. Oh, I might need to bring in some supply. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to run low on machine gun ammo. <laughs> How much do I have in this? Uh, do we only have one there? This is where I'm going to lose my Opal Blitz and be really mad. Wait, my Schützen are dead. We lost the squad of Schützen. I have failed. Damn. Oh, okay. We ended up capping that. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Have it back. I'm sorry. Yeah, that may be a good thing, actually. Let's just uh, close out this side. Get these shoots and reloaded, and then we can just kill anything that comes in on the left side. Ten minutes remaining. I think we must have killed most of the stuff. Doesn't look like there's much more coming in. The thing is, if I accidentally like go over the arrow here, then we're done. But I think. I think we're, we're all good. I think I may as well just end it.
Yep, there's nothing else there. That's it. There was maybe something on the right hand side, but that'll do. Plenty of kills. And a few losses. A couple motorcycles and an infantry squad. Acceptable losses. Please just blow up the HQ. That way we don't have to deal with it attacking us every turn. I couldn't see if it died. I don't think it did. No, it just routed. And well, we're under attack again. Uh, this time by the 17th Guards Rifle Regiment HQ. Okay. Um... I'm thinking with this one, we just bring in the 178th artillery. Oh, I could actually bring in the 78th assault division. The HQ there, that's not a bad idea. That gives us a lot of spare infantry, more specifically the ersatz. Although I don't think those ersatz come with transport, so maybe that's not such a good idea. Hmm. And they're not going to be attacking with much infantry. We're going to have to play this one defensively, I think. Actually, can we play it defensively? I don't think we can. The 4th Guards Tank Brigade turns up. This is going to be a bloodbath. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, an interesting conundrum. Maybe we bring in the close support wing for this one. And maybe play it defensively. We could always bring in the heavy AA battalion. Just to provide us with the flak. Like the flak 88s, which can annihilate the 4th guards in phase C. However, I'm not sure they get to the front line and in position quick enough to make a difference. So maybe having these guys in phase B is our only option. And then by the time we get to phase C, the Ozats have run to the front line. This does give us pack 40, pack 38, and three more pack 40s there. This one doesn't have any AT. They could bring in their AA, which would kind of render our close support wing pretty useless. It really does just depend what they decide to bring. If they bring the tanks, then we're screwed in the late game. If they bring the AA, then I guess that's fine. But if they bring the AA and the tanks, <laughs> that could be like worst outcome. These are SFH 150mm, so it's not like they wouldn't be able to kill tanks for us. Just our front line is going to be so weak. Too weak to push offensively, I think. It may also depend on the map. The OBs will stop us pushing out for sure. And um, yeah, if it, if it's an open map, maybe we can do it because the Schutzen can kill the Avatos in range. And we will have the air cover to kill the support weapons. Okay, well, with a tactical battle like this anyway, it might get ugly. Who knows? The third company is just completely missing in the second division. They've been killed. Uh, let's see how we get on. Alright, so it's the Vitebsk map. Which is okay for defense. But it is pretty open. So maybe what I could do... I just had a thought. If I put all my fortifications over on one side and then have like some troops just go and secure two of the reinforcement points in phase A 
Then in phase B, we'd, we'd be okay. Actually, the first guard's rifle division joined. The tanks didn't. So maybe we just play it defensively. I think we just play it defensively. If that's the case. And we can play it defensively at range as well, which is nice. So I can I can be quite liberal with my, my placement of units. We can make these high ground areas strong points. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set down the defenses and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Defenses are all set up. Let's just go through them quickly. On the left hand side, a couple trenches. All my trenches I placed at the bottom side of the hills this time so that we can hit the infantry before they get in range of our bunkers. Uh, the bunker is just going to be sitting up on the high ground, uh, firing onto these roads. And then I've got Sturmschützen to hold the closer range engagements in the light forest. Also got one in front of the pack 50 mil there. Loads of MGs just to cover the open. Uh, then I've got the Schützen in trenches there. More Schützen in trenches in front of this hill with the MGs and uh, so on covering them. Then I've got the uh, the pack 50 mil there. Got another pack 37 mil there. All the shoots and covering those in front of the hills. And that's all that. I've got one day 87 D5 recon at the start. And what we're going to do is hopefully put the hurt onto the 17th Guards Rifle Regiment before the AAA arrive. When the AAA arrive, we can bring in our artillery and go from there. The plan. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, speed things up briefly until we get into our engagement. Already got a couple free kills there. Looks like we already have a 120 mil to deal with. Oh, and that OB. That OB is going to have to go as well. Right, let's keep things sped up. Uh, I might just bring in the JU-87 to start hitting that. to 120 mil mortars already. Just need to pin that down, not necessarily kill it. Just stop it firing at the bunker. I feel like this is going to be a JU-87 turkey shoot game for the most part, especially in the early game. Not sure so much about later on. Really does depend how much AA they decide to bring in. My recon's actually doing a relatively decent job there. Go on, JU-87 D5. Oh, how can they not kill that in one pass? I guess they do have 8 strength. Well, that's something, at least. Just it takes them a while to kill them. Like, 3 runs? Pretty abysmal. Go ahead and take out that OB. There's going to be, I think, five or six OBs we've got to deal with. As long as we don't let them kill the bunkers, I think we're all good. Although if they kill the AT bunkers, it doesn't really matter too much. I've got that MG there in the windmill. It's currently mowing down those avtos. Go on. There you go, JU87. That's more like it. That is more like it. Right, let's uh, hover over the OB there and we'll get the JU87 to finish it off. Oh, that one's already firing at it. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and hit that one because that's just unloaded as well. Nice. Killed that. Perfect. All right, those are firing at that bunker. I placed that bunker a little bit too far forwards if I look to things. Is 
need to go find that mortar so I can strafe it. There it is. I might go ahead and kill the the Becca first. I think that would be better. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that with this one. If we can get rid of the reload, then we won't have to worry about them having as many. AI is pretty proactive at moving their supply around, so we can stop that being the case, then gives us an advantage. Go ahead and kill that one as well. The Becca there. Get out of here. I'm gonna need another recon J87. Okay. Not bad so far. Another one to kill. Bad day to be a supply truck driver. <laughs> that one twenty mil. If I can, I'm gonna try and get to a point where I can start saving points. And then I'll have more on top of the points we'll get in phase B to buy in pretty much all of the artillery I need to shut down any AA, which will then allow us to continue to strafe the 120 mils. Although I'll be able to counter battery them at that point anyway, but yeah. Bring that one up. I did lose my MG up here. It looks like the bunker also died, unfortunately. Maybe I can kill that while we're at it. Oh, that's another supply truck gone. Brilliant. Recon that time did quite a lot of damage. Be the 120 mil. Oh, that one just ran out. Oh, I'll have that J87 attack it then. And I'll queue that order. Okay. Not bad. I think I do have a couple more machine guns I could bring in here if I wanted to. So many 120mm mortars. <laughs> So ridiculous. I guess I lost that bunker. Uh, those 120 mils when they hit on target can do quite a bit of damage. We're into phase B now. Let's go ahead and get our artillery in. I don't think we have to worry too much about counter battery. Except from maybe the 20 mils. Depends if they're in range or not. Well, that's an AA piece. If I can strafe it before it unloads, maybe I can kill it. Just need to keep eyes on it, though. Ah, oh, damn. No, nope, too late. Time to go, lads.
bring in the artillery and place it on the side of the road. That one needs to leave. Alright, let's uh, speed these all up. That update. Uh, as soon as it shows itself, it just gets wrecked. That's what we like to see. Oh, they do have their long range artillery themselves, don't they? Hmm, maybe putting them close together is a bad idea. Oh well. Nearly there. May as well just unload these ones. That can be group one, they'll attack those. It can be group two, they'll attack those. And this is group three. So one, two, and three. Ready to go. I'm going to bring in the J87 just to kind of get a shot at. And then we'll hit wherever the RT is as well. Not RT, um, the AA. I'm just going to find a couple direct hits and then we're good. How much artillery do I have left? I think I've, that's all of the guns, isn't it? Yeah. 12 guns. That is it. We miss them almost entirely. Mm, that's ridiculous. All right, we're going to have to fire at that again. Are we being counter batteried? Are you having a laugh? That's like so accurate. <laughs> They've already hit my 150 mil twice. That's not fair. I think I just focus on counter battery, right? That's the only reasonable thing to do here. Because otherwise, they're just going to hit us directly. They, they hit my 150 mil there three times. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, I guess it's uh, gun run time. Even if I do lose my JU-87s in the process. I've got to cut down on some of this RT, otherwise it's just going to get out of hand. I don't think my RT is going to work too well. Oh, yep, <laughs> there is a lot of it, uh, like artillery there. Look at that, they're stacked. As soon as I can't use the aircraft, they're just bringing it all in. 
Utterly ridiculous. Well, I think I pinned one of the AA, but that's a lot of AA back there. I'm probably going to lose one of these JU-87s. Maybe two of them. Yep. Maybe three of them. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Ah, uh, this is rough. Really rough. You can still have my JU-87 flying backwards and forwards, but... Yeah, overall, this is uh, pretty bad. Gonna bring in some more shits and in the mid. Finally killed that one. Gonna have to keep a good eye out. It's a lot of AA back there. These shoots are holding quite well, especially considering what they're up against. Wonder if I could get the bombs on them. We'll give it a go. Relieve that front line a bit. Because my JU-87-D5 can fly here okay, I think maybe it's just if I go a little bit further, maybe we can make it happen. Looks like they're good for the most part. Should drop their bombs and they can just leave. Alright, that will give a bit of respite to these shoots in. I'm gonna have them do a runner. Sturm Schutzen can be up on the hill behind just in case. Get in your trenches, boys. These ones can just stay back. They've held on long enough. Wait, was that my <laughs> JU-87 recon gone down? Yet. <laughs> a lot of AA. Yeah, I should have spread out these uh, 150 mils more, that's for sure. It's a major defeat in 12 minutes, so not too much longer. Looks like we'll be okay. Shoots and just wrecking these squads with the MG42s. Rafniki there, down from 20 men to 1. Let's see if we can do some damage to these. I think our dispersion is going to be pretty awful because our stuff's already being counter batteried a bit. Go on, direct hit please. Oh, there we go. That's what we like to see.
Oh, we lost another of our own. Fortunate. Shift that one up a bit. Oh, I accidentally told that to fall back. Oops. <laughs> I wondered what button I pressed. <laughs> I heard the voice command and I was like, <laughs> what did I press? <laughs> told the 150mm to fall back because it's being counter battered. Kind of dumb. <laughs> Oh well. Wait. Who are they firing at? Oh, probably the Pack 37. Right, only, what, nine minutes left? Damn, there's just arty flying everywhere. Oh, another one of the 150 mils gone. We're going to need to spread the fire a little bit. Hard to tell. There's just like so much enemy artillery right now. Well, I definitely can't use my aircraft because there is way more AA than there is artillery at this point. I could also use my mortars I guess but I don't want to have to micro them as well. And they all die just as easily to the counter battery so yeah. I don't know, I feel like I'm in a bit of a predicament. We're down to 8 guns. Started with 12. I'm hoping to hit both the F-22 and the mortar here. On this side, looks like these apparently managed to get the better of my Sturmschützen. Isn't good. Don't think I have any other ones to replace them, so I just have to bring in like more MGs or something. They're just constantly being artied. Oh, there's a lot of artillery there as well. They generally do stack quite a bit. Just I lost another one on that side. Okay. Well, yeah, not so bad. I mean, this could have been a lot worse. Especially if they decided to bring in the tanks. It's good that they decided to bring in the AA or the tanks. <laughs> but if they brought in both, we were done for. Oh, my uh, MG is probably going to want to leave that building right now. That OB can do quite a bit of damage. Only two minutes left. Another 150 mil gun. Oh my, I guess they have like three star F-22s, right? So maybe that's what's making them more accurate, but normally they're not that accurate, even if you do have command. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> How many do we have left? We've got five left. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Oh well. Kept them distracted, I guess. Let's just keep the rest alive if we can. Just stop firing and just start moving. What 
watch the artillery shells fly all over the place. Our main frontline defense has barely took a dent. It's all our back line. All of these artillery pieces. Getting absolutely hammered. It was my bad for not spreading them out in the first place. I didn't really appreciate how much artillery they would have. I thought I'd be able to keep tabs on it, but obviously not. Well, a lot of the kills came in the early game with those uh, JU-87s. In terms of losses, we did lose three of the gun runners and the JU-87 D5 there. Plenty of those uh, 150 mils. But uh, that's all good. I mean, at least we use the uh, artillery for something for once. <laughs> I never normally reinforce battles with artillery all that often. Uh, that's actually routed all of those units as well, which is nice. And we're back into our turn. Okay. Well, um, I'm hoping that there's going to be moves to make on this front line. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So in the next episode, we'll see about making more counterattacks and see how well we get on. But today, not too bad. Managed to get through the rest of their attacks. Having routed these HQ sections is really nice because it means they're not going to be able to attack us for at least a couple turns if we keep on top of the action points. So yeah, we're in a good position. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.